do what's happening with this watch. Just taking a few photographs of a new watch which we've just received. It's a Richard Mill RM6501. This one's in titanium. This is a 2021. I'm not too sure when it actually came out, but this, this particular watch is a 2022. Yeah. It's pre-owned. That's the first time I've seen like the kind of two-tone strap with the red and black. The new vented strap. See what it is. What we got like that one. It is a blue yacht master 40. I can't remember what it's on. Are these on consignment? No, 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 no. Blue Yacht Master 40. This is Blue a 2022, brand new. I think it's our fifth one in stock. We love them here. <laughs> is this two pieces from the same customer, John? It is, yes. <laughs> Something I haven't seen for a little while. Rose and Steel, Wimbledon, 41 mil. They're just great value Sweet. for money. This one's a 2021, November. Never Did you have a figure in mind how much you were looking to go for it? It's just the best price I can get. We bought one last week, so I'm just going to see how much it was on Visa. Yeah, um, we bought one last week for like twelve thousand five hundred. Your other option is to allow us to sell it for you, and you get a thousand pounds more. If we were buying it, we would pay twelve thousand five hundred. If you wanted us to sell it for you, you get thirteen thousand five hundred. But well, you don't know how long it's going to take to sell, obviously. We sell one hundred and fifty watches a month, and about forty of those are on a consignment basis. I would say ninety-five percent of Rolex models like this sell easily within thirty okay. days. Depends on your circumstances. If you if you wanted the funds for something yeah. tomorrow then that wouldn't be an, a good option but if you can perhaps wait a little while for the funds then you're going to get more. So how long will I have to wait a month for? It just depends on the watch sells, it might, right. sell, it might sell next week but right. typically they sell within 30 days. And then basically you would pay the money at my account? Yeah, what I'll do now is take your details, provide you with the receipt, obviously we're fully responsible and insured for the watches in, in our possession and as soon as it sells, as soon as we're paid you'll be paid. If I get any bids I'll give that information to you but with something like this that's probably not going to happen it's brand new it's got a fresh date it's in very good condition so there's no it's reason never been why. yeah well that's it i can see it's uh sparkling so 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 what are your thoughts are you i don't know what to do <laughs> the other thing is if i take it on consignment and in a period of time you want the funds then mm -hmm. we'll buy the watch you still have both options at any stage Right, so you'd still buy for twelve and a half at the worst case scenario. Yes, with that watch, not with everything because obviously the market yeah. changes. But yeah. with that, then that, that would be fine. Yeah, it's in that condition, so I don't think we'll have any problem selling that. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, oh. Deliberations. Um, I can maybe take it on consignment now and give it some thought. And if you decide that you want me to buy it, just give me a ring and we'll organise payment. Oh, I think I just sell it as it is. All right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No and problem. Then, so when you go in my account, do. How yes. 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 Harry's just done some unboxing with George. Obviously, we'll leave Pepsi's and root beers and Oyster Flex Daytonas to Josh. And it's obviously my turn to talk about the little humble Tudor. So this um, is a new one, isn't it? This is a new model out. It's based on a Tudor Ranger, which is released in 1953. So it's a 70th year anniversary watch. Tudor are just up in that game so much. I mean, this smacks military arrowhead hands. Classic 36912, going back to the days where Rolex were military issue, Tudor were military issue. You know, for the collectors out there, anything with a T on is a military issue. Right. And in the world of collecting is the holy grail. The modern features of these watches are the quality of the bracelet, the quality of the clasp, and new to this Tudor range is the adjustable guide lock. Wow, this would be a holiday wearer for me. Great size, great colour. You know what I like about that as well, Hendo? It's a thinner case. It's thinner a case. A lot of the for me, I felt were a bit too tall yeah. on the wrist, but that is slim. So, this is the watch that I've got out of the safe. Another brand new model out. It's been likened to, and it's got to be likened to, the Rolex Explorer, original Explorer with 
Steve um, McQueen, right? Steve McQueen. As you've just said, it's when you get a look at the case, it's a slightly chunkier case. It's classed as a Tudor Pro. Mm, the Black Bay Pro. But Saying that, it's a slightly chunkier case, but because it's the 39mm and the lug to lug isn't too long, it actually re wears really nicely. Yeah. I'm going to really pop nice. it on the other wrist. Proper Tudor day to day. One on each wrist. Tell me which one you prefer. I think for your purist, the Ranger is just your classic, mm -hmm. but who would dare to be a little bit different. Do you know your wrist measurements? I am a seven and a half inch wrist. Right. So, so as you can see, idea. that's a standard bracelet yeah. that I've adjusted down. Again, a standard bracelet, which is adjusted down. I would say that I haven't got the biggest wrist in the world, but as Josh will confirm, I haven't got the smallest wrist in the world. Vicky and Josh have the same size wrist. <laughs> Not trying to, like, you know, he, Josh's muscles are getting bigger by the day. He eats that much protein, <laughs> but his wrist is still the same size. A play on words, that might be, but yeah, um, enjoy. Both watches are available in store, online. The Ranger is priced at 2850 The Explorer, which is fully stickered, so could be a real collection piece, is £3,750. Do you know what you're looking for? Rolex? It's, yeah, yeah, it's a Rolex for my wife. Uh, what size do you know? 31 mil. 31, so 31, so I'll put them all in order. So I've got pretty much the C3, so one. Two. So these are both factory factory yep. dials. Okay, I'm gonna take a look at those. We've got the smaller sizes, 26, or we've got so that's a candy pink OP. Yeah, she, she was looking for yeah, just, um, like a champagne dial. So you're looking for steel and gold? Yeah. Yeah. So we don't have anything in stock. So the similar would be like something like this. Yeah, 31 mil steel and gold. So yeah. you order we bought the day job, my dad. Grab that up. What size is the full? Full gold is 31. So that's full gold. So that's obviously all of the 31s. Yeah. We can get something like this, but obviously the 31 millimeter, if mm -hmm. that's something that you should prefer. Would you prefer diamonds? Or? Yeah, she prefers it. Yeah, diamonds. so pretty much the exact same watch as that, yeah, but the 31. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. So how much is the... Um how much is this one? No, the one that she wants is the. The one that she wants, I would need to find a price. I'd oh, need to yeah. find a physical watch. Yeah. Best thing to do is, can I take your WhatsApp and let me try and find one and I'll shoot it across to you. Pictures and details. No, what I'll do is I'll speak to her because she's obviously. Okay. She's on a, a list to get one. I'd okay. Show you. If you had one here, then. It if it was. Easy. If you're talking about a brand new piece, it's probably going to be in and around retail, but we'll get it within two days. Okay. You're going to be wearing it Rolex for probably over a year for the watch. Does it have anything with it or was it watch only? Does it have any paperwork or anything? I haven't like got the paperwork with your wife bought it for me a few years ago. Okay. Did you have a figure in mind how much you thought it was worth? I've really got no idea. Okay, if you just bear with me, I'm just going to... Uh, so John, this will be like the 1990s watch, would you say? Probably a little bit older. A little bit older? And you, the pinholes on the side, so that would indicate it's older. But it might well be, but I'll, I'll let you know in a minute. So this is the kind of watch where the serial number is between the lugs, right? Yeah, and it is 1982. So is the markings on both sides of it? Is that how that works? At 12 o'clock is the model number and at 6 o'clock is the serial number. Ah, right. Okay. Obviously the newer ones have got them inside the glass at 6 o'clock. And would you say, is that a sapphire or is that a plexi? Uh, like plexi. A plexi. If you look at it from the side you can see. Yeah, the and if you, if you tap it, yeah, you can it tell that different, it's... Doesn't it? Plastic instead of glass, yeah. So it's a 16000. Sorry, it's alright, I'll just go a little. Nice, yeah. Clean, isn't it? Has it been a daily wear watch for you, or no, is it just no. an occasion watch? It's an occasion, um, which will leave my eyes are cool. And it's such a pain, you know, pain. There's not a lot of contrast, is there? You know, I'm sitting going like this. And yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so if it had papers with it, it would probably be worth about a thousand pounds more. Condition that it's in, we would pay two thousand two hundred and fifty for it. You should have changed that paper. Yeah, that's it. You know, you, do, you never think about it. It, it might not have had it originally, and then it would have been cheaper to buy, and as it's cheaper to sell, so. Like two thousand two hundred and fifty. Yeah. Not the best you can do. It is, yes. Uh, we get offered quite a lot of these watches. Don't get me wrong, this is in a uh, quite a good condition, but, but it's, it's that, hardly worn because of this. Yeah. yeah. Can see it? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Have you got a driving license with you, please? Yeah, possibly. So, John, the boxes are quite 
This was a it's the a, style that was in the eighties. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. It's a much smaller box, isn't it? Then you get them. Yeah. Well, can I can yeah. I leave that with you? Yeah, we'll yeah. Get, you can leave that with us, and we'll get a price. Well, and if I'll, it's, I'll let me have a little think on yeah, yeah, on fine. these, and I'll Maybe no problems. I'll fill out a repair sheet for that. What's the situation, Josh? Is a gentleman getting the wash repairs? Yeah, so. Well, he came to part X again to see for one of these two. Right. And then there's actually, as we've opened the box off the Brighton that he hasn't worn for a little while, he said it's been in the drawer, it's got this second hand, has actually came off. So if you can see it floating about the dial. Oh, yeah. Sure so we're going to get a price to fix the watch and obviously hopefully come to a deal when we can get it fixed and then do a part exchange deal. I'm just going to run through some of the new stock that came back from our workshop today, Monday morning. So starting off date just 41 with a custom Arabic dial, Tiffany, with the custom diamond bezel also, Jubilee strap. And next to it is a plain one, so that's a silver dial, same again, fluted bezel, Jubilee strap, date just 41s. It's the silver dial, because you know we had the white dial in a recent episode. Yes, we the, the silver is another one that's like quite a good value, isn't yeah, it? Yes, so it's very underrated, so it's slightly more than the white dial, but obviously it's still slightly less than like a Rhodium Blue or or Wimbledon, so it's yeah. good value for money. You've got the two diamond ones, so you've got a two tone Datus 41, steel and yellow gold on the left, and then on the right, you've got a blue diamond dial, both factory diamond dials. Yeah, which one do you prefer, steel and yellow or steel? Then throwing it back a little bit, got a Datus 36 classic with this stripe dial or the pinstripe. Such a classic watch. This one is absolutely pristine. This is 1990s, 1990s, yeah. So, okay. something like that, how much is something like that? Ballpark around 5k? Yeah, give or take. Give or take 5k. It depends on the condition on there. Yeah. It's, a, it's a big thing, the condition. Yeah, so it depends on obviously what it comes with and like the stretch and the bracelet and stuff and obviously the condition. Mm -hmm. Same with this really, so this is a steel Yachtmaster discontinued 40mm with the platinum bezel. So again, it goes a lot on the condition because these bezels are obviously prone to scratching. So if you do pick one up, be very careful about obviously the condition of the bezel because it is quite hard to get it back mint again. But this one is absolutely pristine. Nice. Got Rhodium Day just 41. Oyster strap, fluted bezel. Very nice. Probably my favourite configuration. Super clean. Uh, Day just 36. New style. Blue with dial. The blue dial with the new buckle clasp. And then you've got uh, Day just 31. Smooth Jubilee. Day just 26. Fluted steel and gold. And last but not least, a Tudor Ranger and an Omega City Master. These are all available now on the website and finance is available. Have we seen these watches before? Have you made any no, inquiries with us? Uh, not with yours, I haven't, no. Okay. Is that some sort of world timer then, the Brighton? Yeah. Transocean. Transocean, yeah. Nice. Looks like it must be 47 mil or something. Big watch. Big watch, yeah. I think it's bigger. Do you have figures in mind how much you're looking for for any of these watches? Yeah. So that's a 2016. I'm going to guess that's some kind of Speedmaster. James Bond it is. And it's got a blue, blue NATO strap there as well. So, how much were you looking for for your Daytona? Well, I've had a price. And I know what they're going for online. The total lot, uh, we're at, I'm sick, we're off the research I've done, they're selling for about 34 grand for the three. Okay, so, individual, one, what, so how much you, was that individually? That one individually, 25 I've seen on going for. I can buy them brand new for like 17 and a half, 18,000. Uh, that's a 2016, so it's six years old. So it'll be less than that. So if you can get 25,000, then that's... How much are you looking for that one? Well, I, like I say, I can buy them 2022 for about 17 and a half thousand. Yeah, I've been so, offered more than that. Well, fantastic. Yeah. With, I've actually been offered 18 for that. Yeah, it's a good bit. And to be fair, we get offered at the moment, in the current market, we're offered between 80 and 100 watches a day. Right. And... Um, a lot of them are brand new from Rolex, so yes. I think if I didn't have one, I needed one for a client, we would pay more, and I'd be the first to tell you that nice. 18 is a good bid. For them three, I've been offered 25. Right. Okay. Did you have an indiv individual figure that you've been offered for that one? I think I've three, three nine for that one. That must have been about two nine, I think. They're a similar sort of price, to be honest. I think I would pay, I would pay three thousand for that one. And I think that's a very good bid, if you've been bid 3.9 for that. I think that 
a very good bit, to be honest. So it will be left. We were off our left because I simply because I'm buy them. I've got a couple of those in stock as well, so right. so I'll buy that one for three thousand if that works. But so what did they bid twenty five for the the for, three? For three, yeah. Yeah, so our bid would be like 22, like a, a massive difference. They're very, very good bids. We get discount on brand new Brightlands and Amigas as well, in right. the same way that they probably don't. So much are you offering for this one then? 3,000. Is that the best you could do on that one? Yeah, um, and that's only because I've made it a slightly better bid than theirs. I'll tell you what, I'd let that one go for the three to you. To you. Okay. Slightly more than what they have offered. They have too many, I think they offered it. Well, there's a 41 mil. That's the unworn 40 mil. Mm -hmm. Here's the as new 40 mil. So that's the 41. So that's the 41, yes. Yeah. It is a mil difference, but yeah. it's mainly to do with like the shoulders off the watch. It won't feel much bigger on your wrist. Both good models to have. Obviously, this is slightly higher because it's the newer model out. Whereas this one's starting to creep up a little bit now as well. So, yeah. so the 40 mils are both 2018, as new and unworn. That's a 2018. Yeah. We've got a kid that's four. He was born 2018. We've got another yeah. one in the way 2022. Okay. So. So you could either get a new 41 mil Aye, so. for the new one, yeah. yeah. I was thinking about putting a rubber strap on this, to be honest. Mm -hmm. You can get the rubber straps, yeah. Aye. Is it Everest or rubber Everest B? bands, yeah, rubber B, yeah. Aye. We don't have any sort of agreement with them, so you ordering it would be the same as us. Right, okay. But yeah, they're good straps. Aye. We can fit it for you as well if you were local and you wanted to just bring it down. Aye, I think it's fairly easy to do yourself. Aye. Is that like papers and yeah, everything? Yeah, 2022 box and plate is 14.5. Right. And then 2018 on one is, well, it's 12.950. Are we looking to part X or would you just be looking to do outright or finance or? Yeah, no, just outright. I mm -hmm. think, as I say, I'll probably keep that. Is that about 15, is it 1500 between the two? Uh, yeah, so 14.5 is what it's listed for. Obviously, we can do a deal on it. So, yeah, around 1500s. And what is it? It's like a new movement on this one. Yeah, as well. so, so it's got the updated movement, so it's a 1, 2, 6, 6, 10, 11. I think, I'm, to be honest, I think I'm leaning towards 2022 just for the year. Mm -hmm. um, I'll get the card for you, I'll see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's literally dated within the last couple of months, so. Just over like three months old. Both swing tags, both full set in the UK watch. So your five year warranty starts from that date. And you also get an additional 12 month warranty with us. Right, okay. And all of our watches. So that's essentially your paperwork, papers. It's actually a warranty card. Does it say where they got it? Is that on the. Where they got it? Uh -huh. They don't do that anymore. They don't? No. no. It's the white and green card just to say the date, the person's name, yeah. and the address usually off ah, the I person. I think that's the one. Yeah. I almost bought one of these. Well, it was this one, so. Mm -hmm. Maybe eight months ago, and that had all that paper. Yeah, so it used to be the white and green, now that's the new yeah. green electronic card. No, I think I'd, I'd probably stick this up more now. Mm -hmm. 2022. No problem. How would you like to pay for it? Oh, it's card, bank transfer? It would just be bank transfer. Yeah, that's fine. And do you want to take it today? No, I'll probably have a think. But what's what's the best price now, I guess? Uh, it can be 14,000. 14,000? 14. Oh, right, yeah. yeah okay. 14,000. I guess just for reference and so I can think about it, what would be the best on the unworn 18? Uh, 250 off both of them. Right, 50. And are you open tomorrow? I'm, mm -hmm. We're staying here tonight. Yeah, yeah, we're open 10 till 5 tomorrow. Right, I'm okay. here all day, yeah. Yeah, nice one. Right, I'll think about it. I mm -hmm. think, to be honest, it's most likely going to be this one. Yeah, yeah. but you've got my number, just give me a shout. We'll be here all day tomorrow, so. Well, as I say, yeah. we'll, it's just an apartment we've got down the road. Yeah, yeah. Be out by. 11 or something, okay. so yeah, cool. just I'm here, so just, just give me a shout, mate. No problem at all. Nice no, yeah, and enjoy so tonight. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Set. Both of them come with full box and papers and tag, book plates, manuals, everything. Okay, so both the, uh, the price difference is just between the age? Yeah, so we have 17, 16 and 15. There's like a £1,000 difference between the 15 and 16 and then £1,500 for the 17 as opposed to the 16. Uh, Okay, so if we go in our bed, you deliver, is it? Yes, if you purchase it through the site or direct with us, it'll be with you the following day. Oh, okay, wicked. So all of them have uh, all the books and all the tags? Yeah, unless stated. Perfect, no problem. I'm going to give you a WhatsApp now, okay? Bye, man. So the watch is 2017 with both swing tags, full box and papers with both the tags, warranty card, booklet, original box, original everything, full, full set. 
It is a limited edition one. And also, yes, only the, so many were made, weren't there? It's the titanium. That one actually isn't limited edition. Is it not? It's the James Bond one. The watch needs polished. It's not even six months old. Right? It's well worn though. Yeah. If you look, no, it's, got, got it in February. it's got quite a few marks on it. Probably going to be up to two thousand pounds more in value with the papers. Mm. It's just because it's a it's a watch that sought after. People want it as a collector's item, and the papers are what adds to the value. There's an awful lot less people that would buy this watch without papers than all that. Way, so. <sighs> well, I can't get the papers, so I'll just do it. Okay. Yeah. Have you got a driving license yeah. and your bank details with you, please? Yeah. That should be today. Okay, so yeah. there's your driving Great. license, your card, Thank you. and here's your copy of your receipt there. I think we will call to confirm. Right, when yeah, cheers. Payment. Right, thank okay. you. Bye, lads. Got a James Bond 007 edition, no papers. The lady left the papers where our husband used to work, so we need to get it verified. We've had a good look, me and Harry, and we think it's genuine, but it's just something that we need to check. There's an awful lot more people that will buy this watch as a, something to collect as a full set. Mm. There's an awful lot less people that will be interested in buying it without papers. And that's quite UK specific as well, isn't it? Like people in the UK yeah, care about them quite a lot. Yeah, they probably have more value here than anywhere else. It's a nice watch, very light, made out of titanium. So after a phone call again with the client, he's decided to take the 2016 model. This one being pretty much brand new with box and papers, both swing tights, as that was important to him, that it's a complete set. 116610LV, one of my favorite sports models. And yeah, that's going out today and it'll be with him tomorrow. What are the prices on them at the minute? This was 21,000. We have three, so we have a 17 from 23, 2016, which was this one. And yeah. then we have a 15, which is slightly less. Mm -hmm. So we've done the deal at 21,000 for this one. Mm -hmm.